Firewall filters, also called access control lists, provide rules that define whether to accept or reject packets that are crossing an interface. Now, you can configure a firewall filter that determines whether the packet is accepted, rejected, or just discarded before it enters or exits an interface. The reject action will deny a packet, but it's going to send back an ICMP, like a dot 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 response. Whereas the discard action will deny a packet just like a ninja, silently, with no notification. An ingress or input filter affects packets entering an interface. And if you've got an egress or an output filter, that determines what happens when a packet exits that interface. So how do we actually create a firewall filter? Now you could define a firewall filter by defining the address type, which is like the ethernet switching, which is the layer two family, or INET, which is IP version four, INET six, which is IP version six, and others as well. And then you could define the filtering terms and the action it's going to take if the term matches. And it's going to pass through the firewall filter in order matching on the first term that it finds. Now, how do we configure a firewall filter? You can configure, as I said previously, by the address type, and then you use a filter name, then you're going to use a term name or number, and at least one match condition. And the closer to the source, the better. Let me just give you an example of that. In our lab here, we want to prevent user C from contacting user A by using user A's source MAC address. However, user B should still have accessibility and reachability to user A. Where are we going to apply our firewall filter and in which direction? Well, as we only want to prevent user C, then XE003 is closest to the source. So a layer two firewall filter applied to interface XE003 in the outgoing direction, so it's coming out of XE003, is going to be where we're going to place our filter. What if we wanted to prevent any devices from reaching user A? Then this switches it up a bit so we're going to place a layer 2 firewall filter applied to the XE001 interface closest to user A on the incoming direction. And that's where we're going to place our filter. A stateful firewall filter keeps track of the state of network connections and session information to make decisions. Whereas a stateless firewall filter just looks at the packet contents and doesn't inspect traffic flows. These are the firewall filters that we are going to be using, stateless firewall filters, and they actually operate on the data plane. We're going to do two firewall filters here. We saw in the DHCP snooping lab that you could do a firewall filter based on port number. Here we're going to do it on the layer two MAC address initially. So let's have a look at our lab. We've got user A, user B and user C. They should all have reachability to each other. Let's just verify that. That's pinging user B from user A, and that's user C. Excellent. And what we're going to do initially, we're going to stop user C from being able to ping user A using its MAC address, but user B will still have reachability. So let's jump onto the switch now. And how we're going to do that, we're going to set up a firewall filter. If I say edit firewall filter for the family ethernet switching family, and the filter, the name of the filter is deny user A. From. Oh, sorry, we need to set a term. Now the term can be a name or a number. Let's do a name at first. So term no access. And from the term no access, we're going to, I should have, I wonder if I could do it from here. Find the MAC address. Show, run show, ethernet switching table. And we're trying to deny this MAC address. So let's say set from source MAC address of this. Yeah, then set then discard. 
Now we know that there's an implicit deny at the end of every firewall rule, so we need to make sure that we can accept every other kind of traffic. And to do that, we'll set a new term. If I say up, set term, allow everything else. Oh, I need the hyphen. Allow everything will do. Then accept. Let's do a show compare. So we have our firewall rule set under the layer two switching family. The filter is called deny user A. We have a term, this could be a number or a name, from or basically anything accessing this MAC address, we're gonna drop and we're gonna go to allow everything else. Now, before I apply this, let me just open up user C and do a continuous ping. Ping 192.168.0.1 minus T. That has reachability at the moment. So let's do a commit. Let's do a commit whilst watching our continuous ping. Move the screen down a bit like this. Okay, commit. And nothing happened. And the, the reason why nothing happened is because I haven't applied it to the interface. So I will apply it to the interface XE003 in the outgoing direction. It's XE003.0. Family Ethernet switching. Set filter in the outgoing direction and the filter name is deny user A. Now let's commit. Guys, I have a request from you. If you're enjoying the free content, I'm looking to increase my subscriber count to 4,000 subscribers by June. But I can only do that if you give me the play special. Do you want to know what the play special is? Press like and yeah, subscribe. Okay, back to the video. And there we see that the pings have stopped. That's excellent. What I'm going to do as well, um, I'm going to roll that back, roll back one. Get those pings going again. Yeah, those pings are going again and we're going to try it now where we deny user C and B from accessing user A. And we're going to do that through a different firewall filter. So edit, firewall, family, ethernet, switching, filter. And the filter's going to be, don't touch me, which is um, <laughs> basically user A saying that nothing's going to be allowed to ping it. Don't touch. Oh, it'd be good if I could spell. Don't touch me. Term, no, we're going to use numbered terms here. So the first one is going to be the deny, and the second one is going to be allow everything else. So term one from same source MAC address, source MAC address of, of this. Term one, so we want one, two, up two maybe up to from let's say up again one more time set then discard and then we say up again one more time from filter don't touch me we're going to set a different term term two and set and the term two is going to accept everything out then accept 
then we need to apply it to the interface. And we're going to apply it this time to the, let's have a look at our lab diagram. We're going to apply it on the incoming direction on XE001. Top, top edit interface XE001.0 for the family ethernet switching. Set the filter input. The filter name is don't touch me. Now let's commit that and we should see the ping stop. And the pings have stopped. And let's also check the pings from user B. And user B is no longer able to um, ping user A either, which is what we're expecting. So again, let's do a rollback on that. Rollback one. Let's commit that. Make sure that we have reachability. And we do, we have reachability. And does user C also have reachability? Yep, yeah, those pings are still going. So the last one, what we're going to do, we're going to do it on a layer three filter, or basically we're going to filter on the IP address. So uh, I think user B was feeling a bit left out in this. So we're going to deny user B from being contacted by either user C or user A. So let's stop this ping and do a continuous ping to user B's address. And let's get into the firewall filter. Set firewall, family ethernet switching filter. Stop user B. I'm gonna use numbered terms. So I'll say term one from 192.168.0.2 slash 24. Okay, I didn't put, so this must be from the source address. The source. No, let's say from where? From IP source address, sorry. So from IP source address of 192.168.0.2 slash 24, then discard. And the second term is to allow everything else then accept we're going to apply that to the interface edit interface xe 002.0 family ethernet switching set filter on the input direction closest to user b and the filter is called stop user b let's commit that Edit firewall firmly Ethernet switching term has non zero bits where bits in mask are zero. Okay, let's see if we can change that. So if I top and have a look at the firewall filter, show firewall, firewall family Ethernet switching filter. Stop user B. Let's have a look at this. What have I done wrong? Term one. Okay, let me see if I could change this. Display set. I think if I just take this, 
and just 192.168.0.2 without the slash 24 on the end. Okay, and I'm going to delete the top one. Say show compare. Let's do a commit check on that. All right, and let's commit that. And we see that the pings have stopped. That's excellent. And last check I will do, I'll check from user A to make sure that user A can also not ping user B. And that also doesn't have reachability. Thanks for watching this lab and we'll see you in the next one.